PMDD is just not talked about enough. And I actually had something different that I was gonna record today, but I'm actually having a PMDD episode for the last two days. And I thought that this would be a great time for me to get vulnerable and to share with you about how PMDD affects me and some of the things that I do to help combat PMDD when I'm having a PMD flare. My name's Jen and I'm the founder of Polistic Pole Yoga, 52 poses all on the ground which is a somatic movement experience exercise that you can do with the yoga pole right at home. Now, I share videos weekly here on how you can use the yoga pole to get in the best shape of your life. And for me, holistic is pole plus a holistic lifestyle. And what holistic means to me is your emotional, physical, spiritual, mental, sexual, uh, aspects of your life and how they're all balancing together and how they're all working. And sometimes we can be really strong on one and really weak on another. PMDD is a mental health imbalance and I think that there's a lot of negative stigma around mental health issues here in the United States and that's one reason I wanted to go ahead and make this video to share with you that it's okay if you have some mental health issues. It doesn't mean that you're a bad person. It doesn't mean that you're a bad parent. It doesn't mean that you can't be a successful business person and it doesn't mean that there is something wrong or bad with you. I got diagnosed with PMDD about two years ago and I was having all of these major things happen around my cycle. Once I started tracking my cycle, I was tying these things to my cycle. So PMDD is premenstrual dysphoria disorder and it is like PMS on steroids. It's not just your typical cramping and aching and bloating. It also includes the emotional part of it and it's not just being a little bit weepy. It's oftentimes having suicidal ideations, falling into deep depression, and it can even look like bipolar, but it's not bipolar. This is all based on our hormones, and as I have been aging, then that's when I've noticed that the PMDD has actually gotten worse. I always suffered from PMS from the first time I had my period around the age of 13, and then I also have endometriosis. So there's a lot going on for me around my cycle, but then once I started feeling like I wanted to unlife myself every single month, it put a lot of stress on my past relationship. It seemed like around this time of the month, that's when I was constantly saying, I wanna get a divorce, I wanna leave. If I, had, if I was doing a project that I would wanna quit the project, it just made me feel like I was a failure and I couldn't go on and I couldn't see past the tunnel. I felt every month like I was going to end my life. So getting the diagnosis of PMDD for me was extremely helpful because I knew that there was a time limit on my situation. I also am very strict at my diet because I also noticed that my symptoms of PMDD are a lot less. So removing the inflammatory foods, not having any caffeine, increasing my chlorophyll and my magnesium supplements, making sure I have plenty of the vitamin Bs and vitamin D. So I noticed when I go to Costa Rica, where I have all that amazing vitamin D and I'm doing lots of physical activity, I tend to feel really, really good there. That's why it's my goal one day to live in Costa Rica most of the year because it really heals my body just to be in that atmosphere. But if you're like me right now and you're stuck in the United States, you might not have that amazing vitamin D or that healthy food that you can rely on as much because a lot of our food in the United States has chemicals. So you might be feeling like you're trying to eat healthy, but there could be some underlying chemicals in the food. One thing that helps me the very, very most with my PMDD is practicing holistic pole yoga. Exercise is so amazing because it gets all those happy hormones going. There is a drastic reduction in your serotonin and your dopamine when you're experiencing P PMDD. This morning, I didn't even want to get out of bed, to be honest with you. My bones were hurting. I was feeling so bloated. In my mind, I was feeling like I have all these projects to do that I'm not going to have enough energy to get it done because I was extremely fatigued. Even though I went to sleep very early last night, I got a great night of sleep, but I just woke up feeling like I can't make it through the day today. I'm going to have to just stay in bed. But I got up, I went to my pole took a shower, made my hot tea, and now I'm feeling so much better. So that's why I wanted to go ahead and make this video for you today in case you're suffering with PMDD as well and show you some of the easy poses that we do with holistic yoga so that you can incorporate those into your routine when you're experiencing the PMDD. And I know if you're anything like me, you just don't wanna get out of bed and your mind is gonna tell you a hundred different things why you shouldn't do it. And that's why I fall on my strategy and my intentions and my commitment to this practice. It is what keeps me showing up even when I don't wanna show up. We also have an amazing community with inside of the Polistic Yoga Academy and we help keep each other accountable. 
So if you're interested to learn more different ways on how to use your yoga pole to get in the best shape of your life, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to this channel, and hit that notification bell so you stay up to date because I post weekly about different things that are happening in life and different ways that you can use the yoga pole to incorporate it into your day-to-day -day life. A lot of my clients are over 40 and they're moms and they don't have a lot of time and some of them don't have a lot of space. And that's why this practice is so good because our sessions are just 15 to 30 minutes long. It only takes the size of a yoga mat and you have an amazing support community cheering you on. So if you have a yoga pole now, I'm gonna invite you to get to it. If you don't have one, go ahead and click the link down in the bio. There's a blog that I wrote about what's the best yoga pole. I'm pulling with a loop at pole today. I think those are the best poles in the world, but there is an Amazon one down below that has been approved for under $100. So you can go ahead and get that yoga pole right now, get it installed, they're tension poles. They leave no marks on your ceiling or your floor. They're just tension poles like shower curtain rods. So they're really easy to put in. Okay, now I'm gonna invite you, if you have your yoga pole, I'm gonna show you just a quick little routine here that you can do if you just have a few minutes, if you wake up with PMD flare and you're feeling like cranky, you're feeling foggy, you're feeling like you can't get through the day, maybe you're even having suicidal ideations or suicidal thoughts, I want you to come to this poll. I want this to be the commitment that you make to yourself that before you do anything drastic, before you end a relationship or quit your job or heaven forbid, take your life, that you come to the poll. Because any situation that we're facing, it can be better on the other side and knowing when you have PMDD that really helps to know like this is just a tunnel that I'm going through and I can get through it so I'm making this video just to let you know that you're not alone you are not alone and you are worthy of living okay now let's get to the yoga pole okay so in holistic pole yoga we always start in home pose with our elbows up taking a big deep breath in letting it out big deep breath in letting it out, grounding your feet, and now we're gonna rock back and forth gently. Rocking back and forth gently. Breathing. Good, now you're gonna bring your feet to the pole, reaching up on your tippy toes and sliding down, looking at the pole, bending those elbows, and then we're gonna sway side to side. Breathing. Breathing. This is center pose, so we're pulling our belly button to our spine, swaying our hips side to side. We're getting some movement in our hips, adding this variation to center pose, and you're bending the elbows and you're looking directly at the pole. Good, now we're gonna open our heart chakra, so we're gonna go into T pose. So we're gonna open back up, and we're connecting to our heart. Looking back at your hand, and your hand is parallel to the ground, and it's facing down. Your palm is facing down. Your elbow is bent here. You're holding the pole, and when we hold the pole, we hold our middle finger to our thumb, and the hand is right at the shoulder. Again, breathing. Those three deep breaths. Switch. Inhale, and on the exhale, turn. Looking back, opening the heart. We're feeling our love. Breathing. In our full sessions, we even use affirmations with our poses so we can reprogram our subconscious mind. Inhale, exhale, forward fold down. Forward fold down. Breathing. You can come up on your tippy toes for a more of a gentle stretch. Breathing. Breathing. Inhale, exhale, forward star, looking up that right hand, both thumbs up, looking up at that right hand. Breathing, forward star, we're shining our light. Breathing, left hand up, right hand down. Looking up at that left hand, right hand is down. Breathing. Good. Now we're going to come into standing side angle. So we're going to bring our feet directly to the pole. Imagine there's a line between the pole and your arches. You're going to hold the pole again. The wrist is to the back of the wall. The elbow is down. And then we're going to bring the other hand up. And for an added variation, you can come up on your tippy toes. If you're having too many cramps, though, you can just stay grounded. Holistic pole yoga is all about honoring the cycles of your life. So sometimes we add like a lot of pulses and pumps and we really, really get the energy pumping. 
But with this PMDD mini session, we're just gonna stay grounded and calming and a more of a somatic experience. So it's really important to connect with your breath through these poses. Breathing, good. Coming into sit spot. So you're gonna pull the belly button into the spine. You're gonna push the spine to the pole. You're gonna sit down. Your hands can be up over your head on prayer. You can even hold yourself up just a little bit with the pole. You can put your hands down. You can either be flat foot or tippy toed and you're gonna breathe the entire time. Chin up, parallel with the ground. Breathing. Good, now we're gonna roll over, extended forward fold. So your feet are gonna be shoulder width apart. You're gonna lean back and you're gonna look up at the pole. And then if you like, you can gently sway your hips side to side. Very, very gently swaying those hips side to side. Breathing. Breathing. Good, coming back up, forward angle number two, bringing the feet down, elbows bent, falling back. Breathing, elbows bent. Breathing. Breathing. Good, now we're gonna come into crouching lotus. So we're gonna crouch down, bringing that bottom to the back of the heels. Your spine is straight. Breathing, and if you would like to gently bounce here, you can. If not, just stay really calm, really centered. And we're just stretching our body out here gently. Good, now we're gonna come up into snake pose, so that left foot to the pole, right foot around, pointing the toe, hands up, ears in line on the biceps, breathing. Breathing. Breathing, inhale. Exhale, right foot down, left foot around. Pointing the toe, hands on the hips, coming up. Breathing. Breathing, inhale. Exhale. Good, now we're gonna turn around. We're gonna come into reverse star, so thumbs down. Holding one hand above the crown chakra, one hand at the root chakra, dropping that pelvis down and you're bending the elbow. You're not overextending those elbows, they're slightly bent and your ears line with the biceps. Breathing. Inhale, exhale, left hand up, right hand down, breathing. Breathing. Right hand up, and now we're gonna sway these hips side to side. Swaying the hips side to side. Breathing. Breathing. Inhale, exhale, reverse fold. Now in Polistic Yoga, we do our inverted poses on our hands. We do our handstands with the pole. And if you're going through a PMDD episode, you might not want to do that. When you're menstruating, you definitely don't want to put your feet above your head. But we're not gonna do that today. We're just gonna take it real easy. We're not gonna push our body too much. You're gonna hear me say in the Polistic Yoga Academy often, we shake, not ache. Now we're gonna come into reverse table. We take it real slow, coming back up, breathing. Inhale, exhale, coming up. Feet shoulder width apart, bending those elbows. And you can gently pulse here or you can just stay still. Breathing. Good, now we're gonna turn around and we're gonna sit down to the ground in forward sitting lotus pose, bringing the feet together, pulling your body straight up, taking that back really straight. Breathing. Inhale, exhale, sitting T pose, looking back at that hand, opening the heart one more time. Feeling the love for yourself and the acceptance, the self-acceptance. 
Inhale, exhale, left hand to the pole, right hand back. How can we love ourselves if we don't accept ourselves? So this is your permission and your sign to accept yourself. Good, and we're gonna bring our back to the pole. This is just a mini little tune up today. Just a few minutes just to get into alignment. Good, bring your hands up, looking up at the sky. Breathing. Good, drop your hands down. Put your back in the pole. And we're gonna take our hands and we're gonna push them into the earth. You can either push the palms or your fist, but we're gonna push the back into the pole. Good, and then we're gonna sit down and we're gonna take the hands and we're gonna stretch them out on the back of the legs. Breathing. Good, now we're gonna shake out our hands, shake out our feet, shaking it out. Good, then you're gonna drop your hands, drop your feet into sitting pose. And then from here is where you can move into meditation get out your journal. Holistic Yoga has some really amazing journals that you can get and I'll link those down below. But it's really important that you take some time to just sit with yourself, sit with your breath, and feel your body. I hope that by me opening up and being a little bit vulnerable about this helps you not feel alone. That's why I share Holistic Pole Yoga is because I know it's a solution that helps so many different problems. The United States is the leader for suicide and I have lost friends myself from suicide and I have faced suicidal ideations and thoughts myself and so that's why I show up to help you because maybe you're out there and you're thinking that this might be the last day that you're going to live and you're going to see this video and this is going to give you the energy to go just a little bit further. Please know that there is a solution to any of your problems. There is always someone out here that's willing to help. All you have to do is reach out. The Polistic Yoga Academy is always here to help you through with different sessions to help you through different problems that you're having in your life. I hope that you're feeling better after this little mini tune-up. Leave a comment below how it helped you, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Namaste at the pole.